Con Gigliotti and Associates, uh, we have often for many years said to clients that you can hire lots of lawyers to get a good result. You can hire some lawyers to get a great result. But at Con Gigliotti and Associates, we will provide an extraordinary result in every single case in which we are retained. As a matter of fact, uh, Ross, didn't you recently have a very, very good result in a case involving in a sex case? I got an extraordinary result in that case, Michael. Um, it was, just so I'm clear, with all the attention that uh, surrounds sex cases, let me be clear. This was a case involving consensual intercourse. However, it involved um, a boy that was 20 years old and a girl that was 15. So at 15 years of age, she wasn't old enough to give consent. So even though this was allegedly a consensual sexual act, it still constitutes a crime of statutory rape. It's a second degree crime. Now in New Jersey, uh, as in all states, crimes are graded differently. First degree crimes, second degree crimes, third degree crimes, and fourth degree crimes. This was a second degree crime, which means it carries up to 10 years New Jersey State Prison. In that case, there were certain mitigating factors that I was able to uh, present to the prosecutor, and I worked it out in such a way where the, where, the, where the young man did 90 days in jail and was out. So um, the family was extremely happy with that, and uh, that goes down, in my opinion, and in the opinion of my colleagues, as an extraordinary result. Ross, you mentioned just now the presentation of mitigating factors which helped in your defense of your client. I think that people should understand that the presentation of mitigating factors or any kind of facts which help you in your defense, which help you place your client in a better bargaining position, come from several different resources. One is your experience. Second of all is your actual knowledge of the law. The more you know about the law, the, know, the more you know about how cases have interpreted certain statutes, you are then able to take the facts of a case, twist it to your benefit, twist it more importantly to your client's benefit, and utilize that uh, in convincing the prosecutor to offer you a better agreement than they had pr previously offered. We often like to think about this as imagine slicing an onion. When you slice an onion, there's lots and lots of layers of skin there. Our job is to be able to peel off more layers of that skin than other people, to be able to find more levels of defense than other people. And that's the difference between a great lawyer and a good lawyer.